Here's what you need to know about office politics, gossip, and office drama etiquette. Stay until the very end and give this a like to help more people find this and avoid awkward social encounters. And also to keep things professional. Enforced proximity with our colleagues for eight or more hours a day creates a breeding ground for gossip, rivalry, friendship, and romance. And a few deskbound workers are spared the roller coaster of the resulting office politics, while some thrive on the drama many simply endure it so remember that these people sometimes you see them more than your family if you end up working more than eight hours a day or if your family has a crazy schedule so it's inevitable that you will be caught up in your politics of your office to some extent but only participate in a way with which um, you feel comfortable be prepared to take the consequences of your actions if you become too involved. When you encounter delicate situations with colleagues, handle them as sensitively as possible. And if confrontation is necessary, be candid and unemotional and then move on. Idle gossip can be very damaging and spreading it makes you look unprofessional and very childish, very high school, very, very like you're 12 years old. So abstain wherever possible. However immature or ruthless your colleagues may seem, remind yourself that they are human beings with lives outside the office. Treat all colleagues with courtesy, irrespective of hierarchy. Sign up to my newsletter, link below to get daily etiquette tips. Subscribe and click the bell for more modern manners and elegant life and style. I post every day, 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.